Hello and welcome to Money Matters on TV360, a program where we analyze core issues that deal with the economy as well as the diversification and growth of the Nigerian economy. I am Oya Dekuni. Many thanks for joining us. Since Nigeria's independence in 1960, agriculture had been the mainstay of the nation's economy, providing the largest portion of foreign exchange inflow into the country. Moreover, according to the official statistics, it contributed about 63% to the nation's gross domestic product. The incomes were derived from the export of major cash crops such as rubber, cocoa, palm oil, cashew nuts, granite nuts and cotton, among others. As a result of the current economic problem which the country is facing, many Nigerians are beginning to frown at the effect it could have on them as citizens, while others are beginning to give probable solutions to them. Many have blamed Nigeria's overdependence on the oil sector as the primary woe of the economy, which is known for its price instability. While some are calling for a restructuring of the nation's political economic architecture to free up the potential of the state, others have advocated the maintenance of the status quo with greater emphasis on economic diversification. Speaking of economic diversification, the agricultural sector should be a focus for the purpose of actualizing the economic diversification goal. Agriculture is one of the focal sectors to invest in towards strengthening our economy. Nigeria has become the largest producer of cassava in the world, with an annual output of 45 million metric tons. Over the past 35 years, the Nigerian economy expanded more than three times. The agricultural sector has contributed the most, about 27%, to this expansion relative to oil and gas, which contributed 1.4%. Financials 3.3%, manufacturing 9.0% and trade 18.8%. Interestingly, the last time the sector contributed negatively to the GDP was way back in 1987. In 2016, Nigeria fell into a recession that lasted for five quarters. By the end of the year, GDP had contracted by 1.6% year on year. The agricultural sector, however, sustained a positive momentum. Leaving out agriculture, GDP would have contracted about 2.5% in 2016 and would still be in recession. Evidently, it is safe to say that agriculture is the most important and resilient sector in the Nigerian economy, despite underwhelming investment in the sector by the federal government. However, the sector has withstood the bubbles and bursts of the wider economy as its detachment from the negative effect of lower oil prices and currency illiquidity has been key to its sustained growth. Now, the federal government had in March launched the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan, EGRP, with focus on agriculture as one of the key sectors. Also, in the spirit of the Democracy Day celebration, President Muhammad Buhari, while delivering a speech, made reference to the plans of the federal government to increase agricultural produce, minimize food importation, as well as increase the exportation of locally made agricultural produce, thereby improving the GDP of the nation. Under agriculture, Nigeria continues to pursue a strategic food security program built around self-sufficiency and minimization of import dependency. As a result, rise importation from other countries has been cut down by 90%, which has a direct impact on foreign reserves. Meanwhile, some analysts have come with the opinion that Nigeria shouldn't make another mistake of depending only on agricultural produce, as they pointed out that mistake made in the sole dependence of the oil sector in the economy shouldn't be repeated. Now, this week on Morning Matters, we had a chat with Mr. Johnson Chuku, that's the Managing Director of Kauri Asset Management Limited, and here was what he had to say. Not, no, never. Nigeria will never go back to a time when agriculture accounts for close to 80, 70, 80 percent of the GDP or employ more than 80 percent of the population. It won't happen again. Uh, the reality of the matter is that 
agriculture is an extractive industry. In the value chain of development, the extractive industry is the first that mankind uh, embraces. As you improve in terms of skill level, in terms of development, lesser and lesser resources are committed to agriculture. But agriculture may still be very productive, but the level of resources in national, the level of national resources committed to agriculture will continue to decrease as that country improves in its uh, level of development. So we will never go back to that level of development. We have gone past that. We should be talking of industrial age. We should actually be, the society is actually going beyond industrial age. We are talking of information driven age. And a lot more Nigerians are going to acquire skills that will not necessarily be deployed in agriculture. But that does not mean that we shouldn't be able to feed our country. That does not mean that agriculture should not improve on its productive productivity. But in terms of share of GDP, in terms of uh, share of number of employees, share of export earnings, I do not see agriculture getting back to that. There's, I'm not even, it's not even something anybody that should wish Nigeria that we should go back to a time when Nigeria was purely dependent on an extractive industry. The fact that we're even dependent to the largest on, on oil and gas is not in the, on, in the positive for the economy. Yes, what, what, what I would say is that we should, our focus on agriculture should be on improving the level of productivity, um, bringing commercial agriculture into play, um, having a few big farmers who can produce enough, not just to feed the country, but to also export, improving the skill level of Nigerian youths so that they'll be able to compete in the global information uh, highway, not necessarily going back to peasant agriculture. Uh, that's, that's my take, uh, that we should broaden our the contribution of the more value-added sectors of the economy into the GDP and not go going back into the basic production of food and food items as a major source of sustenance of the economy. Well, you know, those are specialized investors. Unfortunately, like you rightly said, they have lost uh, their focus and they're now uh, more of uh, general purpose schools. Um, basically, like I said, agriculture emphasis should be on improving productivity. What we should do is those universities should still be able to churn out or train uh, skills that will help improve the agricultural productivity value chain. Um, we should be talking of not just producing the, the food, we should also be talking of improving the beneficiation of, beneficiation of the food items. First, take for instance the issue of cocoa. We shouldn't be talking of exporting cocoa uh, seed uh, or cocoa pots. We should be talking of exporting chocolate and byproducts derived from cocoa. Similarly with palm oil, we should be talking of exporting margarine, exporting other food items that are produced from palm produce. So the key thing the university should be doing is educate, coming up with educated Nigerians who have the competence to improve the value chain of the agricultural sector. Um, rightly, you have rightly said that, look, they have now deviated from their primary focus. Probably their primary focus was also not sustainable for an entire tertiary institution. It is not impossible that given our level of development, given a level of emphasis, that having a sole cost program may not be uh, sustainable for a university, for a tertiary institution of that, of that nature. But the key thing is that they shouldn't really, in as much as they might introduce some other causes, they shouldn't lose their primary reason for being, their object clause, which is to drive, to train skilled Nigerians in improve, to improve the agricultural value chain in the country. The other, other institutions that are also involved in agricultural improvement, uh, particularly improvement of the yield and seedlings, there's Federal Institute of, um, there is a research institute in Ibada, Federal Institute of Agricultural Research in Ibada. There is a, a Palm Produce Research Institute in Bini, and a couple of other entities like that, it's a universal agriculture in Onomuaya, or somewhere in Umudike Umuaya. So you have a number of these institutions that should complement each other and bring about improvement. We will, the, 
you can actually give them some credit. We've seen some improvements in some of the seedling states, for instance, the cassava stem, the uh, palm produce, the palm um, trees. We now have those that can uh, produce in three years. The cocoa seedlings, and we also see some improvement. But we should drive for that so that we can achieve higher level of productivity. That's what the emphasis should be on agriculture. How do we improve productivity? Take, for instance, the issue of irrigation. By now, we're talking about two season farming. For instance, we have been focusing a lot on, agri on, on rice farming. But unfortunately, most of the rice farms are either produced in the north or in the south. The one produced in the north is what they call upland rice. It's produced in dry seasons. Well, as the paddy rice that is produced in the southern part of the country is produced in uh, very uh, wet, during the wet season or during the rainy season. We should be moving towards a two season farming where there's irrigation. So, how do we improve the productivity of the rice farms? We have to irrigate those farmlands. So they can actually, within a farmland, you can actually produce both the paddy rice and upland rice. Because each Nigeria has two broad seasons, the rainy season and the dry season. Those are the kind of way things we'll be thinking of how to improve agricultural value chain. <laughs>
based on capacity. But prison farming, we will still be dealing with incre minor incremental increase in productivity. <laughs>
the critical sector of the economy other than just financing trade. For the entrepreneurs, I think this is, you see opportunity in this area, not just um, going into the farming process, also building factories that will pursue the farm produce of the, if the final product that are good for use by indo for industrial purposes or for export. Um, I think, like I rightly said, then the, 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 the institution, the f um, universities, should be able to use their staff, their students, as a station, should be able to display their financial students as a station workers. Instead of asking them to go for industrial attachment for one year, for those certain agriculture, which I think is about a five-year program, their fourth year or final year should be spent in the field. As a station workers, they should come back and report as their project, final project, how they were able to impact on the farmer's knowledge of how to use the input, how to mechanize their process, and how to adopt better yielding uh, feedstock. This year, the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Aldo Ogbe, during a courtesy visit to Deputy Governor of Gombe State, said that the future of Nigeria lies in agriculture and not oil and gas. Well, according to him, the demand for Nigeria's agricultural produce by foreign countries and the efforts of the government to diversify the economy showed that the future of the country lies in agriculture and not oil and gas. He said in a quote, the key to Nigeria's future is not oil and gas, but agriculture. We must have, we must have to settle for agriculture, which is our gift from God. Poverty is the biggest threat to Nigeria's survival. Our task as government is to lead Nigeria out of poverty, and we are doing that with the kind of progress we have made so far in the agricultural sector. The Chinese are depending for 2 million tons of soya beans. The Indians are looking for our produce also. With these demands, we must all be involved in agriculture. It is the constitutional right of everyone in government to own a farm. So I encourage, to, I encourage everyone to help out in this regard, the Minister of Agriculture, Aldobe, said. Now, many would have it that Nigeria should switch to the agricultural sector, while others have agreed that although it should be focused upon, it shouldn't be solely dependent on. Well, that's it on Money Matters on TV360. Do join us again next week. I am Oyin Adekunle. Thanks for watching.